Canoes are truly vessels of history, dating back as far as 10,000 years. Native North Americans made them with frames of wooden ribs covered with bark. They used these boats to fish, travel, and trade. Today's canoes blend traditional construction with some high-tech materials for even greater durability. Most of this boat's made of white cedar, which is lightweight and weatherproof. But for reinforcement, the rim and leading edges are made of ash, a heavier wood. Construction starts with an upside-down template of the canoe that's 4.8 meters long. A worker clamps two long strips of ash, called gun hails, to create the canoe's inner rim, then adds similar strips, curving along the two extremities. He'll attach the rest of the skeleton to this rim. Workers soften what will be the boat's cedar ribs in nearly boiling water for 45 minutes. The ribs are 5 centimeters wide and almost a centimeter thick. The hot water makes them relatively pliable. Using a hammer for leverage, they simply bend the ribs over the template. Steel guiding strips ensure the ribs are 4.5 centimeters apart. With a pneumatic staple gun, workers fire two stainless steel staples through each end of the ribs and into the gun hails. Cement blocks weigh down some of the 43 ribs that workers secure over the entire canoe. At this point, the ribs measure between a meter and a meter and a half long, depending on the area they're covering. The workers will later trim the ends to align them. Next, workers mark the center line along the bottom of the boat with a chalk line. This is where they'll put the first cedar plank to create the skin of the boat. They lay 18 rows of planks on the boat and use a box cutter to shape the ends into a curve. They secure the planks with brass tacks. Brass because it's rust resistant and its color blends well with the blonde wood. Since the planks are straight angled, this process leaves some wedge-like spaces they'll cover separately. They cut thin wedges of wood to cover the remaining spaces. It takes eight hours and 2,500 tacks to fit all the planks on the boat. In total, it takes one person 30 hours to make one canoe. Using a circular saw, a worker trims the excess from the ends of the ribs. Then, two workers lift the boat off the template, flip it right side up, and set it down to rest on two sawhorses. Here, a worker feels inside the boat for any protruding tacks. He uses a hammer and metal block to flatten them. Most were deflected earlier when they hit the metal guide strips on the template. A worker tightens a nylon string between the gun hails, bringing the boat's extremities together in points. He joins the tips of the gun hails with a screw at both ends of the boat. Then he installs triangular pieces of mahogany. This hardwood stands out visually when stained and also reinforces the ends of the boat. Workers then trim and close off the ends. Next, they attach two more gun hails with 44 screws to create the outer rim of the boat. To protect the wood and make its surface watertight, workers cover the bottom of the canoe with fiberglass cloth. Then they seal it with three coats of clear epoxy resin, which will need up to two hours of drying time between coats. Workers reinforce the front and back of the boat with more fiberglass and more resin. They do this because these areas will hit rocks and the shore more often than other parts. A worker fills holes he drilled through the bottom of the boat with silicone. This helps attach the keel, the spine of the boat, as well as two long brass components on top of the keel. Workers complete this step by flipping the canoe and attaching 37 screws through the silicone and into the keel. After thawing frozen strips of rawhide leather in water, a worker cuts holes in them. These holes enable her to weave the strips together to cover the canoe's two ashwood seats. It takes her about an hour to weave the required 20 meters of rawhide. The pattern is similar to what you see on traditional snowshoes. It takes two days for the leather strips to dry out and tighten. Workers then protect and strengthen them with marine varnish. Then they install the seats inside the boat with four brass bolts. Next comes the yoke, a bar running across the width of the boat. It's designed to fit on your shoulders when you carry the boat upside down. The other bar is for securing gear safely while you're out paddling on the water. Bon voyage!